Is religion the answer? Does religion provide salvation? Does religion meet the need of the human heart? To each of these questions, we can answer with an absolute definite no. Religion has never been the answer. Religion offers a lot, but it always fails to deliver. I've just been reading this book, The Battle for Truth by Oswald J. Smith, a great little book written back in 1953. And I just love the way that Oswald J. Smith words it in comparing religion and salvation, really lining up, this is what religion is like, but this is what salvation is like and the stark difference between the two. Here's what he says. Religion is not salvation. Religion is of man's doing. Salvation is of God's providing. Religion is Godward, salvation is manward. Religion is do and don't, form and ceremony, creed and doctrine, rites and rituals, salvation is life. Religion is what man gives to God. Salvation is what God gives to man. Religion is of works, salvation is of grace. Religion is man-made, hence every tribe and nation has its own peculiar religious practices. Religion has its fasts and prayers, its feasts and festivals, its vestments and robes, its rules and regulation. Religion exalts man, salvation honors God. Isn't that the truth? Religion is not the answer. In fact, religion has been a highway to hell for millions of people who put their trust that if I can just do enough religious things, if I can just, maybe I can appease God, maybe I can please God, Maybe I can put God in a position where he will favor me if I do enough praying, if I do enough fasting, if I do enough door knocking, if I do enough attendance at church services, if I read my Bible enough. But it's all works. And salvation, friends, is not by works. Look at what Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Paul says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God not by work so that no one can boast. Your salvation cannot be achieved. Salvation can only be received. And so religion is all about trying to achieve things and trying to put God in that position where he will give us eternal life. He'll give us access into his heaven. But it's based on merit that I have done these things and then we've got something to boast about. Whereas salvation is simple. Salvation is a gift. The Bible says the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, Jesus is the one. Jesus is the saving one. God reaches out to us through salvation. He provides a savior. Jesus dies on the cross as a substitute. He dies on the cross to pay our sin debt. And all we do is look to him. We just look to him and just call out Jesus Please save me. And he just loves to save people. Jesus is the saving one. He does the saving. He does the saving. We just call out to him. So if there's anyone watching this and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, I encourage you on the authority of the word of God and the promises in God's word to call out to the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. Just come to him recognizing I need a savior. I need someone to wash my heart clean. I need the gift of eternal life. I need to, someone to rescue me from my slavery to sin. Who will save me from this sinful drive that I find is within me? Jesus can do it. Look to Jesus Christ. Trust in him as your sin-bearing savior and he will save you.